Getting started with app level policies. In this use case, you'll set up an app policy for a higher level of assurance that comes from the type of factor used. For example, a knowledge factor like a password is not as secure as an inheritance factor like a fingerprint. A secondary authentication method at the org level is now required. Setup and configuration. Create an Okta sign-on policy. Begin in the admin console. Go to Security, then Okta sign-on policy. Click Add new Okta sign-on policy. In the Add Policy dialog, add a policy name and optional policy description. In the Assign to Groups field, choose Everyone, then click Create Policy and Add Rule. In the Add Rule dialog, in the Primary Factor Is field, select Password Dash IDP dash any factor allowed by app sign on rules. In the secondary factor field, check the Require Secondary Factor checkbox and click Create Rule. Your rule should look similar to this. Now create a group for sign on and add a person to it. We're using bookmark apps for demonstration purposes but you'd use whatever app integration you need for each app. From the Admin Console, go to Directory, then Groups, and click Add Group. In the Add Group dialog, enter a name, for example, Group for Low Assurance App, and optionally, a group description, and click Save. Go to Directory, then People, and click Add Person. In the Add Person dialog, add a first name, last name, username, and primary email. Add your own email to the secondary email field. In the Groups field, select the group you created in Step 2. In the Password field, select Set by Admin, enter a password, and deselect User Must Change Password on First Login. Click Save. Then repeat this process for another group for the High Assurance app. Create Bookmark Apps. From the Admin Console, navigate to Applications, then select Browse App Catalog. In the search box, type Bookmark App, select Bookmark App, and click Add. On the Add Bookmark App screen, change the application label to Bookmark for Low Assurance App. Enter a URL and click Done. Because this app is for demonstration purposes only, you can choose any URL you like. In a real environment, you would use the URL of the app you're setting up SSO for. Now select the Assignments tab. Select Assign, Assign to Groups, and select Assign for Groups for Low Assurance app. Do not click the group name unless you want to review the group properties. Now click Done. Repeat this process for another bookmark app that you will use to create the second app level sign-on policy, or bookmark for high assurance app. Create app sign-on policies. Create an application sign-on policy that requires one factor type and another that requires two factor types. When creating an app sign-on policy, you should consider who the policy applies to, which specific users, groups, user types, or specific users should this policy apply to. App sign-on policy for low assurance app. From the admin console, go to Applications, Applications, 
and select Bookmark for Low Assurance App. Select the Sign On tab. You'll see a default sign on policy with a catch all rule that requires passwords. Select Add Rule. In the Add Rule dialog, add a rule name, for example, Low Assurance App Rule. In the Users User Type Is field, select any user type. In the Users Group Membership Includes a field, select at least one of the following groups. Start typing the name of the group you created in the prerequisites and then select it. For example, Group for Low Assurance App. In the User Is field, select any user. In the Device State field, select any. Use default values for a device, platform, any platform, and the user's IP, any IP. Also leave the following custom expression is true field blank. You can use the Okta expression language, or EL, to add a custom expression to an app sign-on policy. For the user must authenticate with field, choose any one factor type. The app level sign-on policy represents the user with a list of their enrolled authenticators, including password, allowing them to pick whichever one they want to use. In the Access with Okta FastPass is Granted field, choose if the user approves a prompt in Okta Verify or provides biometrics. In the Re-Authentication Frequency field, choose Every Sign-in Attempt. This means the authenticator has to be verified every time the user accesses the app. If you choose Re-Authenticate After, the authenticator will re-authenticate if it has not been used within the given time frame. Click Save. You should have a rule that looks similar to this. App Sign-On Policy for High Assurance App. From the Admin Console, go to Applications, Applications and select Bookmark for High Assurance App. Select the Sign On tab. You will see a default sign on policy with a catch all rule that requires passwords. Select Add Rule. In the Add Rule dialog, add a rule name, for example, High Assurance App Rule. In the Users User Type Is field, select any user type. In the Users Group Membership Includes a field, select at least one of the following groups. Start typing the name of the group you created in the prerequisites and then select it. For example, Group for High Assurance App. In the User Is field, select any user. In the Device State field, select Any. Use default values for Device Platform, Any Platform, and the User's IP, Any IP. Also, leave the following custom expression is True field blank. You can use the Okta Expression Language, or EL, to add a custom expression to an app sign-on policy. For the user must authenticate with field, choose any two factor types. In the access with Okta FastPass is granted field, choose if the user approves a prompt in Okta Verify or provides biometrics. In the re-authentication frequency field, choose every sign in attempt. This means the authenticator has to be verified every time the user accesses the app. If you choose Re-Authenticate After, the authenticator will re-authenticate if it has not been used within the given time frame. Click Save. You should have a rule that looks similar to this.